Hello, everyone. Welcome to the history lecture. Today, our topic would be the aggression of Japan, Italy, and Germany. First of all, let us have a revision before talking about new issues. In previous weeks, we understood that several countries, including Italy, Germany, and Japan, became totalitarian states during the interwar period. Their background was similar. There were two major reasons. Politically, the original governments of these states failed to gain what the people expect in the peace settlements after the First World War. Economically, these governments could not solve the economic difficulties faced by the public. As a result, there was the rise of dictators like Mussolini in Italy, Hitler in Germany. They claimed that they could save the country and thus gain a lot of support. Eventually, they got powers and become dictators of their own country. In the following time, we are going to figure out how did Mussolini, Hitler, and the leaders in Japan keep their promise by expanding overseas. These aggression finally caused the Second World War in 1939. On page 62, you'll find out that the three totalitarian states finally joined together in 1940 and formed the SS powers. They attempt to divide the world between them and cause the reaction of other great powers. The latter formed the Allied Powers, or we simply called it the Allies. The Second World War was fought between the SS power and the Allied Powers. Important members of the Allied power include the Soviet Union, Britain, the United States, and China. Historians usually call them the Big Four. Added with France, these five countries dominate the post-war period. They were all permanent members of the Security Council of the United Nations up to now. We shall first focus on Japan's expansion in Asia, as Japan took military actions as early as 1931. At that time, Hitler still had not gained powers in Germany. Please first do highlighting for the related timetable. By doing this, you can understand the core information of this topic. Indeed, the history is easy to remember. Japan's main target was China. It was because, on one hand, China had a lot of natural resources. On the other hand, China at that time was still divided and weak. Japan took this opportunity and determined to turn China into her colony. As a result, this would help stimulate their national economy as well as their national prestige.
First action of Japan's expansion was to occupy Manchuria. Manchuria was a large piece of land which was rich of natural resources such as coal and oil. It was next to Korea, a Japanese colony since 1895. Japan claimed that the Chinese army in Sunyang launched an attack against Japanese railway and used this as an excuse to occupy Sunyang and then whole Manchuria. Historians usually call it the Sunyang incident. One year later, in order to legitimate her rule over Manchuria, Japan set a Pepe state called Manzhou Guo. Puyi, the former Qin emperor, was selected as the head of the state and ruled Manchuria under the supervision of Japan. Japan continued to expand in China and a total war did not break out until the Marco Polo incident of 1937. Japan claimed that a soldier was missing in Beijing and requested to enter the city. China rejected and war broke out again between the two countries. Chiang Kai-shek, the leader of KMT and China, then declare war on Japan after that. As a result, some historians think that it should be 1937 but not 1939 as the start of the Second World War. Among the three, Italy's expansion would be the easiest to understand. Why? It was because Italy was too weak to expand. Their major target was to increase their influence in Africa, or more accurately, East Africa. As a result, they attacked Abyssinia and independent states in Africa. We can understand the reason of Italy's session by reviewing the map on the right hand side. Before 1935, Italy got Libya and Somali in Africa, while Abyssinia was one of the two African regions that remained independent. Italy would not launch a attack on British colony, as Italy was too weak compared to Britain. By controlling Abyssinia, Italy could connect the two colonies in East Africa and increase its influence in Red Sea. Every ship from the Mediterranean had to enter Red Sea before arriving Asia. At the time, Britain and France were tired of dealing with economic recession in their own country, and they chose not to use military actions to stop Italy's expansion. Eventually, Italy defeated Abyssinia and occupied the whole territory. Both Italy and Japan believed that no one would stop their expansion, and their ambition expanded significantly afterward. Finally, let's talk about the boss, Germany. Please refer to the table on the left-hand side and do highlighting. There are in total five related incidents. However, there are patterns to help you memorize.
First, you can see that Hitler expands from west to east. First, send army to occupy their original land, the Rhineland. Then, occupy Austria, Sudetenland, and Czechoslovakia, respectively. Lastly, Hitler continued to expand eastward, and the next target would be Poland. Another pattern was that Hitler must carry out expansion in March or September. For example, Hitler annexed Austria in March 1938. He waited for six months and occupied Sudetenland in September 1938. The reason was that Hitler tried to be careful not to cause recession from other countries like Britain and France. In addition, Germany was still weak in terms of military strength. So Hitler provided sufficient time for the army to rest. I hope that this hint can help you understand Germany's expansion in 1930s. In the last line of this PowerPoint, it is time for us to do revision. As we know, Italy, Germany and Japan was the main totalitarian state during the interwar period. The Italian leader was Mussolini, while Germany was led by Hitler. Japan's head was Emperor So Wang. It would be quite easy to remember their ideology, political parties and symbols. In Italy, Mussolini chose fascists as the symbols, so his party was called the Fascist Party, and his ideology, Fascism. Hitler established the Nazi Party, so the ideology was called Nazism. More to add here is the secret police of Italy and Germany. Why black shirts? Because these people wear black shirts. You see? Lastly, Italy, Germany and Japan had different targets of expansion. Italy wanted to increase her influence in Africa. Germany attempted to get territories in Central Europe, while Japan's target was the Far East, more accurately, China. I hope that all of you can wisely use your time so that you can improve all roundly. See you next time.